Thank you. Part of Commerce is dealing with a mess after a water main ruptured last night. The water started gushing shortly. This morning, a Temecula student is in critical condition after falling from a second floor walkway during a class experiment. A major ruling on farm water in Northern California, the state water board told farmers they can no longer pump water from the San Joaquin River near Stockton. The farmers have contracts that go back 100 years, allowing them to use the river as a water source. Many are expected to stop planting crops until the drought is over. Goodbye celebrated yeah. with celebrities, friends, fans and family. And the show began with farewell messages from five presidents. A dramatic confrontation at LAX. Airport police had to take down a passenger who pushed past a security checkpoint. This morning about the Takata airbag recall. While consumers have been warned that the airbags are defective, many still don't know which vehicles are being recalled. why some people aren't at work today. Yeah. Hmm. Late night. Survivor Season 30 has a winner. Texas oil driller Mike Holloway walked away with a $1 million prize and won more competitions than anybody else this season. Thank you. It is 638 and coming up on CBS 2 News this morning, a possible vote today to put Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. And just oh, today, lawmakers urge Congress to vote in favor of putting a woman on the $20 bill. Plus, the weekly unemployment numbers are out. CBS 2's Jill Webb. The time is 6.44. Coming up on CBS 2 News this morning, we have a sneak peek of a cool new exhibit. This morning, we're getting an up-close look at sea jellies at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach. The Aquarium is getting ready to open its new sea jellies exhibit tomorrow. CBS 2's Louisa Hodges.